Hello students, welcome again in our today's video lesson. In the last video lesson we have completed up to page number 85 of chapter number 4, water. So today we will start from page number 86. So where the topic is water pollution. All of you know, familiar with this word pollution. We will see today water pollution ok so this is a very big problem that we are facing nowadays water pollution not only water pollution air pollution soil pollution noise pollution from all this pollution we are uh, going with a hard time nowadays these pollutions are creating lots of problem to us so what is pollution first? Pollution means when unwanted things are added to land, water, soil, water, air, etc. is called pollution. Okay. So water pollution means the contamination, the contamination of the contamination of unwanted substances to the water is called water pollution. Unwanted means the things which are not good for us. That, that harmful to us. Okay. That causes harm and affects both living and non-living things are called water pollution. So next is pollutants. Water pollutants. Pollutant. Pollutants means the substance that contaminate or harmful substance that contaminate with the water are called pollutants of water. For example, industrial waste, domestic waste, then sewage and uh, <coughs> oil spills. etc. So there are so many uh, pollutants are there which causes water pollution. So we will see one by one these uh, pollutants how they are harmful and how they are getting contaminated with the water bodies. First of all here is given agricultural waste. The topic here is agricultural waste. Agricultural waste means as all of you know, farmers are nowadays using lots of fertilizers to increase the fertility of the soil. They are using pesticides to kill the pests, insecticides to kill the insects, weedicides to insects uh, to kill the unwanted plants that are called that are called weeds. These all things are made up of harmful chemicals. Okay. When this harmful chemical present or the chemical present in these fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides, weedicides are washed away by rain water and carried and goes into the nearby water bodies, they pollute the water. Okay. So this excessive use of these are washed away by what and uh, by rain and contaminate the nearby water bodies which adversely affect both plant life and animal life. Next is the industrial waste. Industries you know 
where we get uh, uh, finished products are produced by raw materials there also we need lots of water so the waste water that are coming out from industries contains lots of chemicals again in them these chemicals are also not good they are sometimes very harmful this waste water again released into nearby water bodies like rivers mainly they contaminate this river water and make it pollute which causes harm to both again aquatic and plant life animal and plant life next is the domestic waste in our house domestic means the waste which are generated from our houses we are using water at our home to for cooking for washing utensils for washing vegetables for cleaning clothes for cleaning our house for bathing for all these purposes purposes we are using soap detergents again these soap and detergent contain some chemicals so the waste water that are generated from our houses goes into the drains that and this uh, water are carried from drain to the big drains that is called sewage water this sewage water again released to the nearby water bodies mainly river which contaminate them and make it pollute this soap and unwanted contain the uh, untreated water a sewage untreated sewage water again contain harmful chemicals which harms both aquatic plant and animal life okay sometime this uh, water are also percolated into the soil and goes into the underground water they also pollute underground water next is the oil spill so accidental leakage of oil from oil tankers in the sea why so happens because this oil tankers bought crude oil from different countries through ship oil tanker ship okay big big ship due to some leakage or sometimes some problem this get sunk in the sea water all crude oil gets spread over the river uh, sea water or ocean water that is called oil spill because oil float on the surface of water because their density is less than water so the oil spill also how pollutes the water in these water bodies and uh, causes damage to serious uh, seriously damages to marine life both plant and animal life of marine ecosystem next is the thermal water pollution thermal means you know heat so suddenly if we if uh, the temperature of water in the water bodies increases it harms the or it kills the aquatic plant and animal then how the water get heated of these water bodies mainly in rivers beside rivers so many industries are there like thermal power plant one of the main from this our thermal power plant lots of steam is used to generate electricity so the hot water that are released from these power plants are released into the nearby water bodies which causes the increase in temperature of the water body and harms the aquatic plant and animal life okay so it causes adversely affected now there is a case study about <coughs> ganga river how it gets polluted river ganga the longest river in india all of you know provide an example of the extent of water pollution in our country untreated sewage and waste from the hospitals industries are dumped into the oil uh, into the sea river all along with lands the yamuna is one of the main tributaries of river ganga is also contaminated with harmful water of cities and industries and polluted adversely affect the aquatic plant life and animal life water often gets contaminated with human activities also 
suppose like cleaning clothes um, from uh, use uh, from animal and human feces which contains harmful disease causing microorganisms like protozoa bacteria viruses they pollute the water if you drink that pol polluted water that contains this harmful germs bacteria and protozoans viruses some disease occurs this the what uh, the disease that occur due to water pollution or from, from polluted water is called are called water borne diseases like cholera typhoid dysentery diphtheria etc okay jaundice so here also we will see one by one the disease which are caused by uh, harmful water that are called water borne diseases so next is water born diseases um first one is if you say cholera number 2 died we are number 3 jaundice number 4 typhoid number 5 dysentery number 6 gastro enteritis etc so these are the main water borne diseases that we may suffer if we con use this contaminated water so what is here uh, some three examples are given in your book also diarrhea and the symptoms what happens if in this diseases so first one is the diarrhea if you uh, suffer from diarrhea what happens there is a regular loss of water and minerals from our body with frequent uh, loose motion it uh, leads to the dehydration also so percentage of water level decreases in our body that is called dehydration diarrhea may may be acute or chronic in acute diarrhea person suffer uh, for a short duration and get better in chronic diarrhea the person suffer from a long time and become very weak sometime the patient has to be admitted in hospital and uh, given saline because if you give medicine oral medicines they cannot uh, have it because uh, they vomit it generally vomiting happens so we have to inject the medicine through saline okay next is the gastroenteritis it is a water borne disease which causes stomach pain that is called gastric problem in small intestine in, is inflamed the reason inflammation is a toxin produced in some viruses bacteria and other parasites in the small intestine the disease causes acute diarrhea means loose motion loose uh, and vomiting also and no urination or less urination okay next is the jaundice it's another water borne disease that affect the liver and cover uh, can prove fatal if it is not treated in time because all of you know liver produces some uh, digestive juice which uh, helps in our digestion of fat proteins etc so if uh, the liver here becomes enlarged the size becomes big and then the normal size if it is become chronic you may suffer from hepatitis a b c like that diseases okay so we should be careful about this before drinking water we should be confirm that it is a potable water means free from germs any type of foul smells etc okay so we have to first filter the water with water purifier 
are some process of using chlorine or ozoniz uh, ozonization we have to sterile the water first and then we have to drink it okay and for that the main thing that we should do that we should prevent water pollution if we if, if we can prevent water pollution all problems will get solved okay so in the next video lesson we will see how we will what we should we uh, what we should do to prevent water pollution and what our government has taken steps to reduce water pollution so thank you students i hope you have understood what the topic why uh, i have taught today see you again in the next video lesson and online class thank you very much